Today I will show you how to do it like yeet. Yo, it's Povikas here. And yeah, today we will learn how to make these crazy yeet effects. You know, that camcorder that's been really popular in yeet music videos, his grunge effects, and his whole little flash transitions that you always see in yeet videos. And yeah, guys, by the way, if you're new here, my name is Povikas, and I've been a video editor for over seven years now. And I also run an absolutely crazy video editing website called povikas.com, where I have the best video editing presets that I could possibly make. And I've actually combined them all into my alt export which is on a crazy deal right now so I would definitely recommend to go and check it out and it will be linked in the description but anyways let's begin all right guys so I guess the first thing you can do is make the really popular camcorder effect which we can do by pressing ctrl y and making a new adjustment layer and on the adjustment layer let's add an effect called hue saturation now guys this camcorder effect you can see in other music videos not just Yeet just remember that but on Yeet it's been getting quite more popular so in mass saturation we can make it to minus 41 because we have to desaturate this a bit as you know camcores are a bit desaturated and let's also add wave warp to give some lines but don't worry we'll not make it like this let's go to make the wave type to sawtooth and the direction we want to make it to zero and the wave height yeah let's make that to 1.5 and this is subjective you can make this to how much you want but i'll make it to 54 you know you can just trust me or you can make this higher or lower you know do what you want and now let's add an effect from the sapphire plugin if you you don't have this you don't have to add this it's called s warp waves and uh don't worry we'll not keep it like this i'll make the amplitude to 0 0.005 and the frequency this is really important i'll make it to 152.2 and we can start to see these crazy little lines here but it's important to make the angle to 90 now so yeah you already get this kind of an effect which is not a camcorder but don't worry after the next effect we'll add you'll see the camcorder so yes the next effect we're going to add is a free plugin which everybody should have literally everybody no excuses it's called ntct rs now it already gives you a kind of a camcorder look but there's things we need to mess around here with so we first need to make the composite signal sharp to 1.5 to make this pop out a bit more i'll make the snow to zero it's not an important thing now let's go down turn off the head switching and the tracking noise because we don't want that little line there although you can keep it if you like the little line there it's kind of popular in camcorders but i don't want it here and the most most important part about this effect is I like to go to horizontal scale and I like to make the 1.25. Now there's a couple of things you can do. You can either press this button and you will get this little camcorder look or you can just wait on. Now it's also important to go to sharpen and make it to 1.03 to make it pop out more like a camcorder. Oh no 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 but we're not done yet. Camcorders are also blurred so let's add fast box blur and I'm going to make the blur radius to 3. But now you might be wondering okay this is just too blurry. Mm -hmm. Okay let's add unsharp mask to make it look even more like a camcorder and then blur it out so i'll make the amount to 200 and the radius to 8.2 and the last effect you can add is going to be exposure and this is just a personal thing but i like to make the gamma correction to 1.5 to make the whites pop out like that because in camcorders i personally think the whites pop out like that but you know i might be wrong but i think that's pretty important and look before and after is crazy i mean literally the most realistic camcorder effect i've ever we're seeing recreated in after effects just like that just boop you got it so yeah we can just call this camcorder and keep on going let's make a crazy grunge effect now so let's actually go on a clip that i would like the grunge effect on this looks cool already with camcorder but let's make the grunge effect here so let's turn that off and let's press ctrl y and call this grunge and the first effect we can add here is guess what hue saturation that was the first effect we added on the camcorder and here i'm going to make the mass saturation like minus 50 because this we want to desaturate even more and now let's add levels i personally like to make this a bit darker so i'll make the input black to 20 25. As you see, that's pretty cool. Like before and after, that's a cool detail. But I'll try to guess what effect I'm about to add here. I don't know if you guessed it, but I'll add NTC TRS because this works for grunge absolutely well as well. I'm telling you guys, this is a really good plugin. And here I like to make the composite signal sharp to 1.5. And also, let's not forget to turn off the stone. We don't need that. And now let's go and turn off the head switching, you know, the tracking noise. We don't want that. But unless you want it, it doesn't matter. You can have it. But I like to now go to chroma noise. And as you know, grunge has noise. So 
let's make it to 78.9 obviously i'll add more noise in the later part of the video but let's just have it like this for now and an important thing i like to do here is I like to go to chroma loss and make it to 85 percent which is going to make it darker and now we can go to horizontal scale and scale it out to 1.29 and turn on the scalable video size to make it look like damage like that that's cool and now we can add an effect called add grain which will add grain and let's go to viewing mode and make it to final output and here let's make the intensity to 3.5 that's a huge intensity but we need it because we want to make this crunchy and softness is very important now let's make softness to 2.1 to make it pop out like that and let's go to color and let's make it monochromatic unless you want the colors there but no nah, i don't want that and now let's add an effect called fastball explorer which we already had it on the camcorder and here we're going to make it to three and the last effect we're going to add here is if you can guess it it's going to be on short mask this is pretty similar and let's make the amount to 120 and the radius to three and boom you have one of the craziest grunge effects you could have actually asked for i mean it's really really grungy i mean i mean look before and after it's insane on these effects and okay okay let's add a transition that yeet always has in his videos i mean i'm pretty sure almost all of his videos have it so let's just go find a place to transition so let's transition right here so this is the classic yeet transition let's press ctrl one and call this flat and here we can add exposure and for exposure i'm going to make it three where it transitions that's bright i know but let's just keyframe it here and let's make the gamma correction to 1.8 here because it's not only exposure that changes it's also the whites like this and let's go one two three four frames backwards and let's make the exposure here to one and the gamma correction to 1.1 and now let's press ctrl shift d to cut this layer and delete that so you know we don't have the whites there and now it will go like this but obviously it needs to end so it doesn't stay this bright so let's go one one, two three maybe let's go three. yeah like right here and let's make the exposure to, to zero and the gamma correction let's make it to one and now we can press ctrl shift d and delete and we'll have the classic ye transition that you can see in almost all of his music videos right now and it's also really popular in other music videos and i guess the last bonus we can do is we can make an old yeet effect which used to be super popular and still is but he just doesn't use it that much anymore so we can add cc radial blur this is going to be his like crazy blur you know like the one that goes around him so here we can make the amount to like five yeah like that and yeah we can keyframe the amount to five and let's go before it and let's make it maybe like one and let's actually press u to see the keyframes let's go right here and here we can make it to maybe like 0 0.5 and then the next frame we can make it to maybe like eight and let's go one frame forward again let's make it to one uh, one frame forward again and maybe let's make it to four and let's just end it there yeah press ctrl shift d and delete and this will pretty much be his like old shake almost like this shake transition i mean so yeah just combine all of these effects and you will have an absolutely crazy music video i mean just that looks pretty cool but anyways guys it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya